Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm testing out another filming location today and on a spinny chair. So let me know what you guys think of it in the comments below. But today is a hot new shit video. So I'm gonna be showing you guys my favorite beauty, lifestyle, fashion, books. I have so many things to show you. Food, coffee. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I've got a lot of things that you probably have been seeing a lot lately. So if you guys are new to my channel here, hello, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And if you guys wanna hear some of the hot new shit I am interested in lately, and I'll try to hook you guys up with deals and codes where I can. Ooh. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button really quick so you don't miss any of my other videos. But if you guys are ready to see all the hot new shit, y'all can go ahead and keep on watching this video. so much stuff to share with you guys today. I really do. Two things I wanted to jump in and say really quickly are, yes, we are engaged. Andrew and I got engaged in Key West. If you guys haven't watched the vlog, it was the video I posted right before this one on my channel, so you can go watch it. Um, but we're super excited. Thank you so much to everyone who reached out with kind words and well wishes. We love you guys so much. You show up and give us so much love more than we even expect and it's always amazing and beautiful to see. The second thing I want to tell you guys is, if you see her on my desk back here, this is my next book, this is 30 as fuck. This is the proof version of her. It is 30 things I learned during my quarter life crisis. So guys, you're gonna laugh, you're gonna cry, you're gonna be like, oh my God, this is me, this is what I needed to hear. So it is coming out January 11th. If you guys want updates on that, you can hit in the description bar below. I will have my website, sarahbrown.com. Sign up for email notifications on there and you guys will get an email when the book is live in January. It will be on Amazon and Kindle. I'm gonna try to do a Kindle pre-order. I can't do paperback pre-orders since I self-publish, but if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you already know all these things anyways. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting a hell of stuff about it. So you'll be seeing it everywhere. But let's jump right in. I'm gonna do beauty first because I have the most beauty this month. I have a lot to share with you guys. I have a lot of really good stuff. I feel like around the holidays, I get so much beauty because there's so many good deals going on. There's so many new things to try out. There's gift sets, like there's so much stuff and I'm obsessed with all of it. And if I didn't say it already, I'll have links to everything down in the description bar on YouTube so you guys can click down there to check these out. If I do have discount codes for anything, I'll put them down there. I'm not sure if I actually do today just because a lot of these are things I just like found on my own or discovered on my own. So you know these are genuine favorites because I actually paid for all of these. I don't make money off of any of this, so... This is the real real. But the first thing I got, I actually got this from Sephora. This is their Glow Recipe little gift set from the holidays. I have been wanting to try this stuff for a really long time and I thought this was a perfect way, a great deal to try it out. When I got this, I think it was $35, which was amazing. You get a mini sleeping mask, which I love. It exfoliates and moisturizes and you like wake up with amazing skin. I had heard about that one a lot. That's really the thing I wanted to try the most, but I also got the watermelon juice moisturizer and the jelly sheet mask. I love sheet masks and I've heard this one is absolutely amazing. And it came in this cute little tote, which I just think is so adorable. So I am late to the exfoliate gang, but I got her through GMA Deals. If you guys have never seen it, Good Morning America has a website, gmadeals.com, and they have stuff on there, like amazing full price stuff for 50% off. So Kate Somerville was on there, so I snagged exfoliate literally half off because I couldn't fathom spending $85 for it if I didn't know if I liked it. So I got it half off, I tried it, and I see why everyone loves it so much. It's an easy way to do a quick, physical and chemical exfoliant during your skincare routine without having to like do an entire sit down and peel for 10 minutes and all that stuff. I love it. You literally rub it on, leave it on for two minutes. It tingles, it burns a little bit, but your skin looks glowy, smooth, dewy, like immediately afterwards and I'm obsessed with it. My next Sephora goodie, I feel like everyone has seen this lately, the Laneige, Laneige, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It is their lip sleeping mask. I am forever chapped. I'm forever winter, Michigan, cold. My lips are dry. I feel like I've tried everything and I am really picky about what I use at night. I like something thick that's gonna stay on and really moisturize so I wake up with really, really soft lips. I hate waking up and feeling like I didn't put anything on. I love that this is still like tacky in the morning. It's thick and it stays on and moisturizes throughout the night. It smells amazing. It's pink. 
I am obsessed with this. I've been using it for the past like three days and I really, really love it. And I'm probably gonna use it during the day too because I read in the reviews a lot of people said they use it during the day as well and I can see why. So I snagged the Becca Skin Love Glow Elixir Glow Nectar Brightening Hydra Complex at my local Ulta and I tried it once underneath my makeup and I was sold. There's hyaluronic acid in here. If you guys follow me, you know I'm obsessed with hyaluronic acid because I just want my skin to stay young and hydrated and plump forever. So I put a couple drops of this on under my foundation. I smooth it all over my skin um, at the same time I'm putting my primer on and I find that this just is making my makeup go on so smooth. My skin feels hydrated and glowy and I think it's honestly making my makeup look so freaking good. So I am using this stuff religiously right now and it smells really good too, like kind of like cucumber. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I have on my lips right now because I have heard so much about this lip liner. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Reshape and Resize Lip Liner in Iconic Nude. I've seen so many people talk about it and I was like a ride or die girl from Mac Girl for quite some time. So I, like it takes a lot for me to change when I really love something, but I can honestly say I got this I splurged, I checked it out, I got it from Sephora. I have it on today and I love that I can literally put this on by itself and fill it in a little bit and that's all I need on my lip. Like on a quick day, it's a liner so it stays put. But today I put a little bit of gloss on over it just cause I love a good gloss. The gloss I'm using is actually the Bad Habit Beauty um, Amber Shawl Collection lip gloss. I believe it might be sold on Hush too. Um, but it's just this really pretty gold champagne, super shimmery gloss. It's not super thin. I like that. I feel like it stays put a little bit better. And I have a couple things from Bad Habit Beauty to show you guys actually. And I do have a discount code that's only valid through December 31st. I know, I wish it was valid forever, you guys. I'm sorry. I tried. I literally tried. I was like, can I just have a permanent code? And they were like, no. So if you use the code SarahOrdo10, I'll have it down in the description bar as well. You guys get an extra, I believe, 10% off anything on their site, which their site has amazing cheap beauty. And I'm about to show you some palettes that you're going to want to grab. I have three highlight palettes to show you guys that you can use that code on that are so cheap. And if you watched my last video, you already know about the rosé. This is literally like a Nicole Guerrero dupe. Sorry, mine's so dirty. I use this of it though. But it is so good. I would even speculate that it might be better than the Nicole Guerrero one. And the Nicole one was limited edition with Anastasia and this one is not. So I think it was like $12 honestly. And then with that code, it's going to be like 10 bucks. And I've been wearing this nonstop. I've been using it on a lot of my brides lately. I really love it. The other two I'm going to show you guys are also from Bad Habit. This is the Crystal Palace. This is the Amber Shoal collection highlighter. Oh, so good. Oh no, that wasn't the Amber Shoal. This is the Amber Shoal, the Gold Dust Highlighter Palette. This is the Amber Shoal collab. She is on YouTube if you wanna check her out, but this is actually what I have on today. I mixed these two here, but like, oh my God, you guys, their price point is so low. You can use that code until December 31st, and this is a great way to check out and stock up your kit or your work kit, your personal kit, whatever kit and try out more highlights, jump on all three of these. I'll have them down there with that code. You're gonna be so obsessed. The next thing I have to show you guys, I actually had on my Insta stories. Um, Andrew and I tried them together because Andrew loves trying out stuff with me, but they are the Real Smooth Intensive Moisturizing Socks and Gloves. So I'm gonna show you guys. They have great ingredients in them. Jojoba oil, olive oil, rose essential oil. They smell amazing and vitamin E. If I can get this open. So they are like those aloe socks and gloves that you would see at your beauty stores. But the really cool thing about these, oh, they smell so good. They're cute, they're pink, and you can use them over a hundred times. They last for three months, which I was blown away by because I feel like all the other ones go bad like immediately. They in these little sealed pouches so that the ingredients stay good, but you put them on for 20 minutes, take them off. You don't feel greasy or slimy. The ingredients really penetrate into your skin and they just feel so amazing. It's, I can't describe it. Like I'm using these all the time right now, especially because it's winter, I'm forever dry. I am so hooked on these. And the link below how you guys can get them together and you actually save money if you get both and not separately. So I'll have that link down there too. Now, as I just mentioned, I am forever dry. It is winter, I live in Detroit, it is freezing cold and my skin gets so dry. I just bought a humidifier, like 
I need moisture. So I got these to use in the shower and bath so that I didn't get even more dried out because I like hot showers and baths, which I know is bad, but I can't. This is the Shea Moisture In Shower Body Moisturizer. You literally put this on last after you're done, leave it on for a second, rinse it off, and it just really moisturizes your skin a little bit extra like it would if you were putting a conditioner in your hair, but for your skin. So love this. I love that their stuff is all natural too, like good ingredients, coconut oil, yummy, smells great. And then I also got this one, and I think they were like buy one, get one half off it also, which they do that a lot with Shea Moisture, which is a good time to stock up. But I got the coconut milk bath powder. So this you put in your bath and it literally makes it like into a super moisturizing milk bath. And I'm like, am I living my best life? I am living my best fuck when I'm doing this because like a milk bath, like how much more luxurious can you get? The last beauty item I have is a palette I've been loving. It is from Juvia's. I don't know where I was sleeping on Juvia's and how everybody knew about this and I didn't. I got the Warrior by Juvia's palette and it is such good like nudes, neutral shimmers. The shimmers in here are so creamy. I died when I swatched them at Ulta and I think this whole palette was like 20 bucks. So it's super, super cheap, affordable and great, great quality. I have it on right now and I've been pretty hooked with it. I know I'm going to get a ton of use out of this for bridal clients as well because I do a lot of neutrals on brides. That's everybody's kind of like go-to look. So I love the creaminess of these nude shimmers in here. So next I think we're going to jump on to lifestyle stuff. If you guys have been watching my videos lately, you know that I suddenly think I'm like barista or something. I make like the most amazing coffee every morning and I want to show you guys what I've been using. This is a milk frother. You can find them on Amazon. I'll link it down below. They're so cheap. They're like under $15. This literally, you put like your milk or your cream in the mug by itself and like froth it and it literally turns into like almost whipped cream and it's cold and then you pour your coffee in and you have your cold foam on the top and like, oh my God, like my best life right here milk frother it's so cheap it's such a small baby life upgrade but you guys are going to love it so much and wonder why you didn't buy one sooner the other thing i've been using a lot in the morning are these flavor god seasonings if you guys have seen them on instagram they're super popular i got the chocolate donut and i got the buttery cinnamon roll and i've been adding this into my coffee with the milk frother and then i sprinkle a little bit on top just to be a little like starbucks extra like i'm a barista and i'm not gonna toot my own horn or anything but like I have been making the most bomb coffee at home with these and there's no fake ingredients in them. It's all straight up like honey, cinnamon, cocoa, cori coriander, cardamom, nutmeg, like all real ingredients, no preservatives. So there's no extra junk in this to make it last longer and it is all just like goodness. I know it's a small business so it's not like a mass produced thing. It's gluten free. It's all natural. Like try these. So if you guys follow my Insta stories, you know, I've been doing like reading the Bible and journaling every morning religiously, like first thing. And this is the journal I've been using the faith activated journal. You guys have been asking a ton about it. It's from Rachel Luna. She was just a guest on my podcast. If you listen to my podcast, but I've been committing to journaling every morning. And this one gives you prompts for every day. There's mindset, there's money, there's manifesting, like there's everything in here. And I'm really, really loving it. I find it a great way to set the tone in the morning and kind of manifest and write about what I want to do, what I want to create, what I want to go into the day feeling and doing. And like, it's really keeping me on track and I love it. This is so cheap. I think it's like $12.99. So it's on Amazon Prime. I'll have it linked down there. You guys jump on it if you want to check out journaling, especially maybe to start the new year with journaling. Great item to have. The last couple things I'm going to show you guys are going to be uh, fashion items actually. I have been like striking gold on Shein, Shine, I'm not sure how you say it. I've always been really skeptical of websites like that because they're so cheap like cheap Forever 21 or less prices that I'm always skeptical. Like, is this going to be a weird like Pinterest fail where I'm going to order something and then I'll have like what it actually looks like and I could literally make a meme out of it. But I've been doing so good on there. Like everything I've gotten has been like legit. And I love that like they have the reviews so you can see photos of people actually wearing it to make sure it looks good and people leave very honest reviews. So loving that. The first thing I got is actually one of those teddy bear coats. I got this teddy bear coat in this tan brown shade and I want to say when I got it it was on sale for like 30 something dollars and it was usually 60 something um, but I feel like they're always on sale. Like Sheen always has their things on sale no matter what time you go on the website and they have codes and special deals and free shipping. So this 
I can say for like the low price point is very good quality. It's not flimsy or thin. I've worn it this winter already and it keeps you warm, but it's not super bulky. So if you wanted to check out the teddy bear trend, I highly suggest this piece. Like I said, link down below. If you've been wanting to try this, I wanted to do it without spending a fortune on something that might be shitty. And this one is so good. I got this jumpsuit on Sheen as well. It is a halter and it is long but baggy and fitted in the waist. It has pockets. I literally have bought this in four colors because I love it so much. I wore it in Key West. I was actually wearing this exact one when we got engaged and it's just a really easy to throw on thing. It's good for like spring, fall because it can kind of like transition you. Great for vacations. Like I said, I wore it in Key West. I've literally gotten this in four colors. One being black because I feel like you can do so much with a black jumpsuit. And the prices have like fluctuated from the different times I've bought them, but I've gotten them for as low as like $13. I think the one time the highest I paid for it was $18. So still really cheap, really high quality, not see-through, and so, so, so chic. I absolutely love these. The last thing I found that is really good to stock up on on Sheen is like cardigans and flowy kimonos and stuff. So I really wanted to get like a camel tan cardigan. It has pockets. It's so soft. I love this material because it's warm, but it's not super heavy. I feel like sometimes with cardigans, if they're too heavy, I can like sweat throughout the day and just be way too hot. So I am loving this one and it was really, really, really cheap. I don't remember how much, but it's so easy to layer with and they have it in a ton of colors. So good one to check out as well. So honestly, that's all the stuff I have today. I thought I was gonna have a lot more. I guess that was a lot of stuff though, so. Everything will be linked down below in the YouTube description bar and I have that one code that will definitely be down there for Bad Habit Beauty for you guys to save a little bit of money and fall on the budget. But thank you so much for watching today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave me some comments down below if you love any of these items, if you've been checking them out, if you're going to check them out or any of your other current favorites because I love to hear them. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel before you leave so you do not miss anything else. I will have my face on the screen here per usual. If you click it, you'll be subscribed to my channel and I will also have some other videos for you guys to check out as well but i think that is all i have for you guys right now so until next time i will catch you guys in the next video bye